Hello and welcome to our webinar which is broadcast every Thursday at 11 a.m. Our contents today, Dumper Types, Guidelines EN54, Butter Smoke Dumper Control Panels and Modules, Smoke Management in Case of Fire. What are types of dumpers? Fire dumpers, fire smoke dumpers, smoke dumpers. Fire dumpers are used in the compartment transition walls of comfort ventilation ducts. To install them, it should be opened manually by hand. The temperature sensitive thermal element melting wire closes when it reaches 72 degrees so that it's normally open and closed in case of fire. It is not allowed to be used in the buildings with fire alarm system and water fire extinguishing system. Even if used, the switches of the open and closed positions are monitored by the fire alarm system with contract monitoring modules. Fire smoke damper, as you see on the screen, It is used in the passage walls of the comfort ventilation ducts if there is an advanced fire alarm system in the building. The damper is made open with engine on it. The motor, which is engine, is con constantly energized and is in the on position when energized. Closing is done by spring return mechanism. The damper is closed by the spring return mechanism when one of the following situations occurs. When the temperature sensor connected to the engine on the duct reaches 72 degrees, when the engine is de-energized by a module connected to the fire alarm system when the effects of fire are detected early, when there is a fault break or short circuit in the cable feeding the engine, when the temperature sensitive sensors reaches 72 degrees, the engine cannot be controlled after the damper is closed. So it cannot be opened by remote control. Because of this feature, it is also called passive damper. Smoke dampers, as you see on the screen, if there is an Advanced fire alarm system in the building, it is used on the compartment passage walls of the smoke evacuation system. In addition, instead of engine fire, the engineized fire dumpers, a smoke dumper is used the passages of the operating rooms. The opening and closing processes of the dumper is also done by the engine. It maintains that position by coming to the open or closed position required by the firefighting scenario. There is a no temperature sensor or heat sensor on it. As you see on the screen, there is only a engine, not a heat sensor. The spring does not have a recycling mechanism in the event of a fault. In case of cable breakage or short circuit, open circuit, the dumper does not change its position. The cable must be fire resistant. It has to be fit from a continuous source, which is backup source. In case of fire, it is extremely important to evacuate the smoke in the area for the safety of people in the building. Fire smoke is highly toxic and breathing this smoke by people in the area can adversely affect their health. For this reason, smoke dampers, exhaust fans, pressurization fans, etc. Smoke control systems need to be triggered according to the location of fire. Controls and triggers must be made by the fire detection system. With the smoke damper module, we have developed smoke dampers can be controlled over a single address and the open closed fault conditions of the dampers can be monitored via the same damper module. 
quite about the smoke dampers is EN5414 as all. It's stated as other devices and systems. Mentioned in the article named other devices and systems says that the main purpose of detection and alarm signal from the system can be used to directly or indirectly trigger auxiliary devices such as smoke or fire doors, smoke ventilation equipment, smoke or fire dampers, turning off the ventilation, safety doors. Smoke control and pressurization system control and monitoring are mentioned in EN standard express test. If smoke control and pressurization systems are installed in building, fault and position change signals related to these systems are monitored and controlled by creating separate regional status and fault indicators in a separate region monitoring panel or fire control panel. Manual control of the smoke control and pressurization system can be done from a separate control panel or it can be combined with the above mentioned monitoring panels within the fire alarm system, emergency control systems. The emergency control system that will automatically perform the necessary control functions in case of fire should have the releasing the electromagnetic door holders and similar devices that keep the devices for closing fire doors and other openings that need to be closed during a fire. Activation of stairwells and elevators shaft pressurization devices. Fulfilling the smoke control systems, performing emergency lighting control procedures, opening the doors and turnstiles that are kept locked for security and similar reasons, depending on the construction features of the elevators, preventing their use during a fire or ensuring that they are used by the fire bridge or trained building firefighting teams for evacuation. Automatic notification of the fire to the local department, electricity company, police or gendarmerie, the head of the institution, the owner of the building, and other places than necessary. It should have features and functions. Emergency control operations are carried out by control units within the hardware and software integrity of the fire, system, fire alarm system. All kinds of control and command operations that can be done by the control system and security systems related to the devices. By other systems such as building automation systems must in no way prevent the emergency control operations to be made from the fire control panel in case of fire or a similar emergency. Smoke control. Fundamentals of smoke control express as smoke evacuation ports can be open all the time or they can be operated with mechanical devices that can be opened automatically or manually during a fire. It is imperative that such mechanisms be kept in working condition by continuous maintenance. The smoke control system can be activated by remote manual control or automatically by fire detection and warning system. We have a small animation here.
let me repeat the video and we will examine it together if we examine a fire scenario like that this fire event in the office will start with the ignition of material in the garbage but before that we observe that fresh air is given to the environment through the clean air channels in normal conditions with the smoke detected by the detector the fire detection system is activated the clean air channels in the fire area are closed to prevent the fire from growing through the smoke damper module smoking environment is evacuated by means of smoke exhaust ducts and exhaust ducts compressed air is supplied to the stairs with the pressurization channel in order to enable the use of stairs to use limiting smoke passage Since oxygen which is necessary for life also feeds the fire, it should not be ignored that results that cannot be intervened due to the oxygen density or end content. It is extremely, extremely important to monitor and manage the damper with smoke damper control panels. The status of the dampers should be easily followed on these panels. In the section of the smoke damper control panel, Attention should be paid to the standard compliance and ease of use, as well as the fact that it offers a design in which the expectations that may arise in the application areas are carefully calculated. Thank you for listening our video. If you have any question, please do not forget to Ask us by using our email addresses and YouTube channel. Thank you.